Every year, thousands of people attend the horticultural show Bloom. And this year, Kitty joined the crowds to see what was on offer for the new gardener. In 2021, consumer spend on gardening reached a record 1.5 billion euro, according to Bordbia. Included in this figure was a huge number of new gardening enthusiasts who have emerged over the past two years when lots of people rediscovered the joy and benefits of gardening during COVID-19. This has also brought a new confidence in people who want to learn more when it comes to gardening and horticulture. So is Bloom, the largest horticulture show in Ireland, the perfect place for the new and the progressive gardener? Well, I'm about to find out. Last year, the horticultural industry was said to value at 1.5 billion. Like, there's no doubting the appetite is out there. It's actually been phenomenal what has happened, um, if you like, from pre-COVID to post-COVID times. Um, the market doubled literally in value, the immediate horticultural market, that's plants, and then people doing up their gardens. It very much was a case where people were at home and they suddenly appreciated the outdoor space and their garden and what it could add to the house, which was where they exercise, it's where they entertain family and friends, where they could engage with nature again. And that can be usually important. Is there room for the horticultural industry to expand further? Well, absolutely. This is something we'd like to think with Bloom here. Bloom is actually a showcase for Irish horticulture as well as, as, as food and beverage. So if we can have that interest and build on that interest, it's going to create opportunities for the industry, absolutely. Bloom is not only a coming together of nursery growers, garden designers, florists and plantaholics. It's about giving a space to experts in horticulture to host and give talks and to facilitate discussions that educate the novice grower but also the experienced grower. And Bloom is full of great nursery people who are here to talk and engage with interested gardeners. Gardening is definitely a lot more popular these days. Is there anything you could say to a new gardener? A new gardener, if he's brand new, is to understand the actual situation he's gardening in. Understand the soil, preparation for the soil. Then do a certain amount of ho homework. What kind of garden do I like? Do I like a cottage garden? Do I want a jungle garden? What effect do I want to achieve? And as soon as we understand what you like, we can direct you to which plants would actually work. And like most of us during COVID, our gardens became our refuge. So this year at Bloom, there is an initiative that may help you to create this refuge. It's called Dream Gardens. And what are the Dream Gardens? So the Dream Gardens are seven different garden designs by seven Bloom award-winning designers. And each of the seven gardens are suitable no matter for anybody to implement in their own garden, no matter what their lifestyle is. By having the plan and the layout and the planting plan, all numbered and it's called Easy Steps to a Dream Garden and that's exactly what it is. It's brilliant because it brings access to people who may not be able to afford or even thought about getting a landscape designer in, where now it's just, yeah, making, bringing that next level just much more accessible. What's it like being part of a project like this? Yeah, it's a really unusual one, but I've really enjoyed it. It's, it's um, normally I would have private clients that I try to help, but um, this is opened up and it's available to everybody. And it's it's wonderful to think that uh, you know somebody who mightn't have had access to a landscape designer uh, before, or even thought of going to a designer, might use take elements of this um, of any of the designs and just try something that they mightn't have uh, done beforehand and it might sow a seed of something that turns into a passion and, uh, and, and just a real interest and um, it was, it's, a wonderful, it's wonderful to think that it might turn into something like that. When it comes to growing, it's not about perfection when you start out. It's about giving it a go, learning as you go and building your confidence so that when you do become that confident gardener, you will have the ability to choose the plants that are going to look great and thrive in your garden.